Great. Objective, graphing linear equations. For problems 1 through 8 below, graph each equation. Right. The first one says y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. I'm going to circle the number without the x first. That's going to be my y-intercept, which is up at 4. So go to y equals 4. And then from here, since the top is the rise and the bottom is the run, and that negative only goes with the 2, so we're going to go from there. We're going to go down 2. We will always run to the right 3. And then there we go. That's what my line should look like. Great. Number 2, y equals 3 minus 5x. Again, I'm going to circle the number that doesn't have the x on it, so we're going to start at the y-intercept of 3. And then there. Um, since the x that doesn't have a fraction, I'll put a 1 underneath it. And again, it's a negative. So from that 3, I am going to go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. So then I'm just going to connect them. It's a very steep line. And there we go. Okay, number 3, I have 6x minus 4y equals 12. I know on this one I have to solve it for y first, so let me just rewrite this problem. Um, I know that the first thing we need to get, do is move the x, so to get rid of 6x, we'll do minus 6x to both sides. So those are gone. Notice I still have the negative, so I have negative 4y equals, we can't put those together because they're not like terms, so we'll have 12 minus 6x. And then here we're going to divide all three parts by negative 4, not just 4. That's where I think most people got stuck. So we're going to get y equals 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. And then you can decide on this one, you can either leave it as 6 over 4, or I'm going to actually reduce it to 3 over 2. But it's okay if you would have left it as 6 over 4x. Either one's fine. Okay, so I'll circle the part that doesn't have the x, that's the negative 3. So I'm going to go down to negative 3 and put a point. And then from here, I'll do my rise and my run. So I'll rise 3, and then I'll run 2. So that is what my line should look like. All right, y equals negative 2 is a um, horizontal line. So I'm going to go down to y equals negative 2. And then it's just a horizontal line straight across. Um, if you did it wrong, I'm guessing you made a vertical line. But please remember, if it's y equals, it crosses through the y-axis. So it does cross through the y-axis. And um, another way of remembering it, remember again, if the, x -x, if the y axis is vertical, then a y equals line is going to be horizontal. Okay, problem five, 7x plus 4y equals eight, similar to the one that we did earlier. We need to make it say y equals, so I'm just gonna come over here and get ready to solve. First thing we'll do is subtract 7x from both sides. So those are gone, so now I'm gonna have 4y equals. I'm not allowed to combine these because they're not like terms, so I'll leave it as eight minus 7x, and then I'm going to divide all three parts by four. So I'm gonna get y equals eight divided by four is two, a negative divided by a positive is a negative. Seven fourths doesn't work out nicely, so we'll just leave it right like that. Okay, so we're all set to graph. I'm going to start with the two. So go up in the y-axis at two, and then from here, that is a negative, so we're gonna go down seven, and then over four. Okay, and then from there, we can go ahead and connect it. And that's, whoops, my point a little bigger. There we go. Okay, next one, y equals negative x plus 4. One thing I'm going to do is put a 1 on the x. I'm going to circle the one that doesn't have the x on it, which is 4. So I'm going to start on the y-axis at 4. And then from here, again, it's negative. So we're going to go down 1 over 1. And so from there, we're ready to draw our line. Okay, number 7, x equals 3. I know that this line has to go through the x-axis at 3, and it's only going to go through one time. So my line has to be vertical in order for that to happen. My x values are always three. And number eight, y equals three x. Okay, this one actually has an x on it, so it's not gonna be one that looks like number seven. We're gonna actually put a plus zero on this. So if I circle the number that doesn't have the x on it at zero, so we're gonna start at zero, and then the slope, if I put a one under it, we're gonna go up three over one. So it's gonna be a pretty steep line that looks like that. 